I'm so jealous of my sister's marriage that it sickens me. I even snooped on her husband looking for evidence. He's actually crap. I'm ashamed. A fresh update is now at the end of this story. Hear the full story from start to finish. My sister and her husband always seem to have a good marriage. They've been together for around a decade. But you never really know, right? In TBH, I thought they were just pretending since I've never had a relationship that was super good in private. Well, now I do know. I've been living with them for three months. They took me in when my ex cheated on me. They do nice things for each other all the time, and it's like they don't even think about it. It's just natural. They're always bringing each other little presents. My ex called me shallow when I wanted him to give me even a cheap present for my birthday. Their eyes light up when they look at each other. My ex looked at me like I was a potato. They hug each other as though they haven't seen each other in months whenever one of them gets home. My ex ignored me when I got home slash wanted me to leave him the fuck alone to fucking relax whenever he got home. They encourage each other's hobbies and outside friendships. My ex hated my friends and thought my hobbies were stupid. Worse yet, I can tell they're holding back when it comes to being affectionate around me. I arrived home early from an event one day and saw her sitting in his fucking lap while they watched TV and he played with her hair. The stuff I see is apparently just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how much they like each other. They've even been through some of the tough shit, deaths, and miscarriage, job losses that can tear couples apart, but they made it through just fine, I guess. I honestly didn't think relationships like this were real. I thought it was Hallmark bullshit and that all relationships are miserable. Hard work once you get past the honeymoon stage. I couldn't believe it, so I snooped on her husband, Max. It turns out his private communications are fine. He had conversations with female friends, but they were only platonic, and he even talked about how much he loves my sister, Sandra. Anyway, I felt extremely guilty about snooping that I confessed. They forgave me. My sister took me out for the day without Max and told me she'd been in shitty relationships before Max, which I already knew, and that she thinks they helped her learn how to spot red flags so that she'd be available when the right person for her finally came along. She's also gone to therapy for a long time, and she says it helped her learn how to make healthy relationship choices slash be a good partner. Max and Sandra offered to pay for me to get therapy. My insurance isn't great, so that's nice. I just want to find something like what they have. There's a silver lining though, I guess. Now that I know this kind of relationship isn't a childish fantasy, I don't think I'll ever be able to put up with somebody like my ex again. Update. Hi. I'm the psycho who snooped in my Biel's messages because I thought it was impossible for men to be great to their partners. Short summary of original post. My ex was shitty. In contrast, my sister's husband treats her so well that I thought it could be real. I snooped on him to try and find out what he was really up to, but he wasn't up to anything. I fessed up after realizing how horrible I'd been. My sister and her husband offered to get me therapy. I'm not sure exactly where to start, so I'm going to use a list format and just write stuff in whatever order it comes to mind. I started therapy very soon after my post. My first therapist wasn't great, so my sister Sandra encouraged me to find another, and my second one was awesome. I'm still seeing him once every two weeks. He's helped me a lot with healing from the trauma of my last relationships and also learning how to relate to others in a more healthy way in every part of my life. He also really helped me learn how to manage bitterness and jealousy, finding the underlying causes and working on those. I moved out of my sister and BIL's house after a couple months. It turns out that my sister and BL were secretly livid about the snooping, but they appreciated that I confessed on my own and decided to be kind and help me. They decided that if I took advantage of the help they offered and put effort into being better, they would forgive me. I didn't realize how close I was to making my sister go low contact with me. Thankfully, I did take their help. I'm not upset seeing how loving my BIL is to my sister anymore. I'm happy for her. They became foster parents after I moved out and are now in the process of adopting the little girl they've been fostering. They are literally the perfect people to be nurturing a traumatized child. They're doing so great. And the little girl, Maddie, is doing so much better than when she was first placed with them. She's an amazing girl, and she and my sister plus Bell are so lucky they've all found each other. I've been single the whole time. That was on purpose. A few months ago, though, I determined that I'd be open to dating again. I didn't want to actively do anything, no dating sites, but I decided I wouldn't purposely avoid dating anymore. A week ago, a guy I became friends with at an animal shelter I started volunteering at about six months ago 
asked me out. I said yes. Our first date was great. He's very kind. He's the guy you go to if you need to calm down a traumatized, terrified animal. He cleans diarrhea-coated animal carriers without any complaint. My sister approves of him. He's very funny too. So that's the update.